this trip, bro. <laughs> this boy is weird. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Just Nexus, where you get all around entertainment. Just okay. So today, okay. Before we go to the video of the day, please, if you've not subscribed to this channel, click on the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. Okay. So back to the video of the day. Guys, like I really need to ask you guys this question: How does love turn into it? Like at some point in your life, you loved this person, and you're like, this person is my ward. You, you love the person so much that you marry the person and you guys have two beautiful kids together. And all of a sudden, things just went south and, okay, fine, I'm no longer interested in this marriage. I want a divorce. You got a divorce. And after that, like, the thing is just toxic, like, toxicity everywhere on both ends, both the husband and the wife. Like, they are just spitting a lot of things online. And to think that they have two girls, two beautiful children to look after, and yet they are painting, ah, guys, like, almost like... At some point, I thought like we've seen the worst, like nothing's going to happen again. Like they've, they're officially divorced, they are co-parenting and let's just have peace. Let them co-parent in peace and let these kids just get the best of both parents. But then again, guys, you think you've seen the worst and they still bring another one. You see this matter between Koro and her husband, eh? ah, Omo. It seems like now let Jesus Christ, maybe God will come from heaven, come down, come settle them cause. Yeah, you're not together again. Fine, but why can't they can why can't they just exist in peace? Like at some point, Cora will come, say this about husband. Before you know, the husband too go online, start ranting all kind of things. She did this, she did that, she did this, she did this. Okay, so recently she went on an interview and she was talking about how yeah, instead of how to like Will um, stay back and just like crawl up in a shadow and be thinking like, oh, my husband said, my husband said, like she monetized it and she's doing well for herself. Like she actually grabbed the opportunity she had at that because at some point everybody talking about Kura. Kura did this, Kura did that. And baby girl was smart enough to make money about it because yeah, she said she doesn't want to be homeless, which is actually a good thing. Yeah, because any publicity is good publicity. She had publicity and she used it. After that one, the next thing, Mr. Kora Obidi came online and he wrote this. He said, lies are over. Restraining order and jail term possible if my ex speaks small lies. The reign of terror is over. Let peace reign. I'm like, ah, the reign of ter uh, terror is over. Justin is kind of doing too much for me because remember last time, the whole issue, Kora was talking about how he reported to Facebook that uh, the kids are his own, that she has no right to put her face on her channel. And we all know that most of Kora's income comes from her Facebook like he was trying to like get her face, but at some point she was restricted. People couldn't give her things and all that. Then she resolved it and she was like, okay, fine. She did the GoFundMe thing that she's going to get a lawyer and all that. And then gone, people were backlashing and that. Uh, are you saying you don't have money and this and that? The husband said, came online, said it's all two cents. Like, guys, they are just spitting a lot of things online. And at this moment, I'm like, you guys should please calm down. You have to, daughters. And I guess I, I would just be imagining, like, I had the kids feeling because. Obviously, things are not well between the father and the mother. So, and the kids have to still go to both parents' house. So, like when she goes to, they go to one house. You do you think that that one will not be saying a lot of negative things about the other one? Cause I'm like, ah, um, you know, we say parents are actually very important in a child's life. I'll be like, the government should just collect the children from them. Let them just take them away from this toxicity. Cause guys, it's too much. Eh? Mr. Kora Obidi and Kora, like you guys just call it a truce and 
exist in peace. Like you don't have to see each other. You don't have to be all up in each other's space. Everybody can just live their life. So guys, yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Hit the conversation. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. And guys, in other news, so man, Angel, in my mind, I feel like these people, they carry us a play. Because at some point, yeah, the whole rumor thing about them breaking up came and we're like oh they don't break up they don't break up even as much as we actually love the some girl shipping we love to see them together and guys at some point we came to facts with it that okay fine nobody every ship they last they went away and some weeks before some mass birthday all of a sudden started seeing them together and she did the whole birthday thing for him and all that we're like uh uh-uh, uh oh what this ship still do and everything and after the birthday they disappeared. I saw seen and uh, Suma's status like he doesn't post stuff uh, because I noticed that most times I feel like the contents both of them have is actually each other because if they are not posting themselves, they don't really post at all. Yes, that's my own point of view about it because I've not been seeing them online. And guys, and I'm like, I was going on because a lot of people have been talking, we reading a lot of comments about like maybe they actually wanted to get shippers gifts. That's why they actually did the whole let's get back together. We get like the gift, and after all, we go scatter. So, guys, what are your thoughts about that one? Because that one said, if I don't understand, hit the comment section about the whole summer and angel thing. Do you think that they are actually still together, or do you feel like they just carry us play to collect shippers gifts? So, guys, talking about a love that. Nobody saw coming and nobody expected it to actually go this far. Juicy J and Yvonne. I'm like, this people, nice one, nice one. Like, I never expected it. Okay, so we all knew if you watched the BB Titan, you actually knew how it started at some point. Yvonne was doing bad girl for Juicy J. Then Juicy J don't love up and all that. But sit them together like they over can fall. Because one is in Nigeria, one is in South Africa. Like they all truly make it seem like very easy to have a long distance relationship. Because I remember then, yeah, when Yvonne had a bad day, GC flew down to Nigeria to spend time with her and others. And now GC did his birthday recently and they actually flew to Zanzibar together to have a romantic time together so guys i'm wishing these guys the best like it seems like yeah their maturity needs to be studied this relationship or more it goes still because like there's no toxicity in the mix they are not even because they don't really have that kind of big fan base that will actually be detecting to them like oh do this do that so like they are doing their own thing their own way no shippers money nothing nothing anywhere so guys i really love what i'm seeing with gcj and even kudos to them your ship will sail and it will move to the permanent site we are rooting for you guys so guys what are your thoughts about all the old cheese why i dropped today hear the conversation i like to hear your thoughts on this and on this note guys i've come to the end of this video thanks for watching don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more gist love you all till i come back again guys see you all in my next video bye for now